What's cooking guys? Do you want to learn how to make a pan whip transition effect in Premiere Pro like this? Well, let's do it. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is right click in our project area, do new item and adjustment layer. I'm gonna double click on my adjustment layer. I'm just gonna drag it down on top of my clips. Now what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I wanna to go to the middle of my cut. So I'm gonna hit the down arrow key. First I wanna go left five frames. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm going to hit shift and hit the left arrow key once. That's five frames. And then I personally just like to add an extra frame or two just for leeway space. And then I'm going to drag the adjustment layer to the end of that. I'm gonna go back to the middle by hitting the down arrow key and then do the same going right, shift, right arrow key, that's five and then six, seven. Just a little leeway space, drag that to here. Now we're gonna to wanna to go in our effects tab, which our workspaces are now over here if you have the new Premiere. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to effects. And then we're gonna go into our effects panel and we're gonna type in offset. And under distort offset, and I'm gonna drag that on top of my adjustment layer. Now I wanna to go to the beginning of my adjustment layer. And to do that, you just wanna hit the up arrow key. But if you don't have this V2 clicked, it's never gonna to go to the front of the adjustment layer. So you're gonna make sure that this track is actually selected and then hit the up arrow key. Now I'm gonna zoom in by hitting the plus key a little bit and click on my adjustment layer. And for this effect, I'm doing five frames on both sides. Like I said before, I'm, I gave myself two frames of leeway space. So I'm gonna go in two frames by hitting the right arrow key. So that's five frames to the middle. And now what we wanna do is start adjusting our offset. And what we're gonna adjust is shift to center. So I'm gonna click on toggle animation. That's gonna create a keyframe. And now I want to go to the end of my adjustment layer, which like I said, is five frames from the middle, not the seven for the leeway space. So one, two, three, four, five, which is here. We wanna move the still shift center, the X axis right here, side to side, either if you're going left, panning left or right, it all depends on what you wanna do. And see this line, when I move it, this is the same image side by side. It's gonna keep going on and on and on. But what I pretty much wanna do is I just wanna move that image until I just replace it with that same image and this line kind of disappears. And once that line goes away, which if you're panning right, that's negative 960. Or if you're panning left, you're gonna to wanna to go to 2880. I'm panning left, so I'm choosing 2880. Now that I have that keyframe set, we're just gonna take a quick look. But you can really you can really see that kind of like hard line in between. But we don't really want that. We're gonna to want to add a blur to fix that. But before I do that, I'm actually going to highlight my keyframes for the shift center too. I'm gonna to right click and then I'm gonna go into easy in. And it kind of just makes it a little smoother. But you can also hit the arrow key down on the shift center too. And you can kind of see your graph. You actually have to hit on the keyframe to see the graph lines where you can actually drag and adjust the graph. So if I wanted it to be more just center, I can do that. Or if I wanted it to be more towards the end or the beginning, I can just adjust it how I want the speed ramp to be. I kind of want it more towards the end. So I'm gonna adjust my graph to be more towards the end like that. Now, if we watch this, slower in the beginning, but kind of speeds up in the end. That's what I kind of want. So there we go. Now that we have that adjusted, let's add our blur. So I'm gonna go back into the effects panel and I'm gonna type in blur and then I'm gonna go into directional blur and I'm gonna drag that on top of my adjustment layer. And now that we have our directional blur, I'm going to change the blur length. I'm gonna start with 50, but it's up to you. But now see how my blur is actually going up and down. I actually want it to go side to side. So I'm going to change the direction to 90 or negative 90, it doesn't really matter. Both are side to side. Now that I have my blur set to how I want it, now I'm going to adjust it with some keyframes. I'm gonna go back to the center of my cut by hitting the down arrow key. And this is where I want the blur to be the strongest. Now I'm gonna hit a keyframe on the blur length. And now I'm going to go to the beginning where the shift center two started by hitting this left arrow key to go to the first keyframe. And then from here, I'm going to change my blur length to zero. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the end, to the last keyframe for the shift center two and change my blur length back to zero. And then just like I did before, I'm going to easy ease these keyframes and here we go. And now you kind of can't see that line as much in the middle. Maybe I can blur it a little more to really kind of cut that line out. Let's let's try 75 and then try that again. Yeah, that actually kind of looks a lot better. 
little bit more blur kind of fixes that problem. And you know me, I love to add my sound effects to make those transitions look 10 times better. So I'm going to add a quick sound effect, put it on the bottom, make sure I match it up with the cut by just dragging it over the cut, something like this. Perfect, there we go, there's my whip pan transition. Very easy to do, very simple, and it actually looks really good. So that's it for this video. Like I say always, if you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell. And if you want me to make other tutorial videos or have other ideas, please let me know in the comments. I really appreciate it. Other than that, that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.